Hello everybody! Welcome to today's new launch. Let me just check everything's working there. It all looks good. I think, is that working there? Let me just check. Yeah. Just let me know if you can hear me okay because I'm on the craft stash page so it should all be the same but Hey Sabine, hey Prapna, is the sound and picture everything okay? I've not been able to flip it today because my clamp is, I think, about to break. <laughs> so we're just going to keep it this way so we don't have any issues. Um, it's got a crack that's appeared on the little, the, the that bit, so I don't want to risk it. So um, yeah, no face today, but... This is what you want to see anyway. Um, hello, everybody. Thank you for joining. Hey, Benita, Maria, Jennifer, Mandy. Hey, Gemma. Um, Kathy, Karen, Zunitsa, Anita, Marie. <laughs> or Maria, sorry. Sound and pictures good. Thanks, Gemma. Hello, Nancy, Elaine. Thank you, Elaine. Um, Carol, hi. Um, thank you, Debbie. Hello, Hayley. You're looking forward to this. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I've been I was just before I went live I'm just going to sit down um I was going through some of the um the messages that people had sent so thank you so much um I hope you know that it is all appreciated but I can't always you know reply to everybody so thank you so much um lots of you have already purchased which is fantastic before I I think we're down to double digits of the main set. I think it will go today. So I'm just giving a heads up to people. Um, we've got the, the US kind of folk are waking up now. Um, so we always see another kind of, you know, peak. Um, but if you are waiting till like fate, um, the YouTube tonight will go up at seven. But that's obviously just a re-record of this. So I'm just letting you know now and hello to those that are watching on YouTube later on tonight. I will be in the background in the chat, um, but it just gives people the chance to see it later on as well. Um, yes, lots of dyes. This is a heavily dye based collection this time, um, which seems to be popular. So you never know. Could be more of a direction we go that way rather than with stamps I do love my stamps and colouring but lots of you seem to like that the dyes you know do it all for you <clears throat> Susan your order is already dispatched that's fantastic and remember yeah all the VIPs you've already taken advantage because most of you have been messaging me um, but you get extra 10% off as well um, plus there's a £30 saving on the bundle already um, so yeah it's, a, it's good and you can buy it all individually as well I'm going to go into more detail in a moment just thought I'd do a few hellos just check the stream is all good and we can get started and it's just me going solo so um yeah we've got no real time restraint so <laughs> um i don't feel too pressured i can kind of yeah just go with the flow um maria oh bless you maria's in puerto rico but hopefully it just be like christmas is all over again when you get all these packages um uh, da, 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 da. Nava, hello, good morning from New York State. Thank you, God, it's early for you because <laughs> I know it's early when I usually do a live at 2 pm. So, um, yeah, very early for you. Um, uh, Pam, I'm so sad because I brought the entire bundle of your last collection from Crash Stash. They sent it to Germany instead of Australia. Oh no, oh dear. Try their chat facility as well, um, Pam. They should get back to you. Um, you have some that will all get sorted. Don't worry, Pam. They'll sort it all out. Craft stash are good, good like that. So, um, but drop them a chat. Use the chat facility on the website, um, or use Facebook as well. Right. Okay. So, hello to everybody who's watching. So I know there's some people in work, <laughs> sneakily listening on their headphones. So again, thank you so much for joining. So this is the brand new collection this is 3d display well it's the 3d display stand card basically um it was a style that i said and i'm surprised no one guessed but i made this um about a year ago for my nephew's second birthday and i made it during a facebook live and i had a lot of people on that live say this would be great if it was in a die and that's what i did so i listen 
and um, feel very privileged that I'm in a position that I can do these kind of things. So I put my idea to craft stash and they really liked it. And here we are now with a full collection. <laughs> Lisa's working. <laughs> but the nice thing also about this is you have your main die. Again, I'll show you in a moment. But then all of this can work with anything. So even if you don't like the three dimensional elements, you know, and the cards, you can use them to make circle cards or rocker cards or just a nice frame for anything you want. So all of this here and the other amazing part of this collection doesn't have to be used with the mechanism. So moving on to the mechanism, this is the main piece. So if you're going to buy one thing and you've got plenty of things in your stash that you want to use this with, then this is your main mechanism. This is just basically gives you a platform to create any themed card that you want. It might even be just a decorative piece that you want to keep in your home, in your craft space. But it's a really nice way to add lots of depth and dimension to your card. You can add flowers and flowers. You can add, it's because I'm looking at Gemma's, Gemma's floral card. You can add lights. You can turn it into a shaker. It can also be a gift box underneath. Um, you can put fabrics and all sorts inside. Literally, it's endless. There really are so many ways to use this. You've also got a swinging element in here as well. So if any of you have my swing collection, this here, you'll recognise these dies. So you've got that now in this as well. So all of those past collections, so your swinging animals, um, the frames, they will all work on this. Um, what else have we got? I've got some other bits on the side that I'll show you in a moment that it will also work with. But I really don't think there's anything that it won't go with. You can even put the frame from the Ferris wheel on, on the front you know, and have just and, and go a bit mad and do something different with that. So there is, yeah, I'm pretty confident that nearly everything that I've brought out will work with this. The other really key part to this collection, I think if you are going to buy maybe just two things, then there is a bundle of these two together. But it's my very first large numbered dies. So you get your background die and then the main die but you've also got two numbers and the clock one's another good one because you get a smaller set of numbers with that one as well but these are all the dies that you get it's a really lovely die set and i just thought it was about time that we had one in the collection so if you haven't got a good set of number dies these are two and a half they are you know a good size um die and then the, i think they're about one and a half but that will vary from side to side um Gemma these numbers are fab I love them and I've had these in my, <laughs> I've had them with me for so long and I've not been able to use them so now I can um but yeah so really fantastic die set there I'm calling in late to work I don't want to miss this one <laughs> says Jennifer so that's your new um large modern numbers and then what I'll do is I'll go on to this frame first so that we've got there's three die sets or three packaging, but there's actually um, one, two, three, four frames because there's two in one of them. But this one here, when you cut the numbers, when you cut this plate, you've got a whole set of numbers again. And they're the same style as the dies. So if you just want slightly smaller numbers, you've got them as well. So it's a, another, you know, good little set to have. And the numbers are deliberately like this. So they go upside down. They're meant to be because it's with a, this quirky face happy hour so you know you've had a few drinks um but also you have the background die so if you die cut that and all the numbers and you want the clock to be the correct way up then you can just stick the numbers on that way but it also i've got a nice idea of having the numbers all kind of squashed into one corner um and i'm kind of thinking like the mad hatter's tea party um and things like that so yeah i thought it was a really fun one and like i said the face you've got a few clock hands here the happy hour die is really nice on its own as well. And these are big, big dies. So also I need to add that the main mechanism will fit through a standard machine, but the larger frames will vary. So I think the bubbles will go through your normal machine, but the clock is bigger. So I'll just give you the measurements. They are all, all the measurements are all on the listings. So, um, you know, do check them. But just, uh, yeah, so it's six and a half. Your standard machines use you around six and a quarter. Um, you can see there you've got two, you know, nice sized dies here. Um, yeah, so that's six and a quarter. So that one would just go through. Um, and you probably just have to rotate it a little bit. But then also in that one, yes, yeah, so you've got the face and everything else. So I've showed you that one. 
Um, and those of you that have seen the first look videos and my YouTube video, this is what I'm showing you. But I don't think I show the dies um, actually out of the packaging, so you get to see it here. So this one again, nice size die. And this is all embossed <laughs> frisbee, all embossed detail here to create bubbles. But these are bubbles in the bath. These are bubbles with your drinks. You can use it for, you know, different occasions. So again, yeah, this one will go through your machine because it's, it's more around six inches. Got your little ducks there because this was kind of we we were when we were thinking about it we had to you know we've got to make sure we've got something that if people don't want to buy everything together they can get you know get it all in smaller um packs so you've got your ducks in that one and then the bubbles and drinks and stuff are in a separate one but this one coordinates and again with lots of the um, past collections including the most recent so the pop-up book so you've got the baby elements here they will all work with this one here and I've used a couple of those already on some of the cards but again with the um, the florals there with the stitch detail they're the same florals with the garden one you've got your balloons there which look really good I've not used too many of these on this because I just wanted to focus on all the new stuff but the balloons look really good all around a frame um, and then again the poems from the last collection will stamp really nicely in the background so the back of the card which I'll show you again in a moment so you know lots of ways to use these ones and i'll go through some of the papers past collections as well that will work really nicely so that's your bubbles edition and then you've got this one here which has two so this will create a magnifying glass or just a plain frame as well some sometimes you just want a plain frame and then build from that but you've got the little handle here so that creates a magnifying glass and then you've got one here which has just got that flower head so it's really nice for little enchanted scenes which i'll show you in a moment little garden scenes um so yeah lots of lovely ideas with this and you've got your little fairy here which looks really cute and then some of the bugs as well i'm just gonna let yeah do yeah there, there will be a spider coming up in a moment so for anybody that really hates that so there are genuine phobias of that kind of thing i'm just pre-warning you now um yeah so no, again really lovely set let me just check Again, the sizes yes yeah. so the largest one if you just want to create that nice big ring you'll see there how thick that will be then this one again you'll need your larger machine because that's coming in near to seven and then this one here is six and a quarter so that will probably just go through but you just have to rotate it around a little bit so like i said some of them you can just squeeze through and then you've got your five additions so if you are someone that just likes to make your own cards, you do, again, you don't really do that 3D kind of element and things. You just want different themes. These are lovely little stamp and die um, sets that you can buy. And like I said, everything's available on its own. You don't have to buy them as the bundles. Um, I don't like, but kind of do like that there's bugs. I know. I was <laughs> um, let me just pop that to one side for a minute. So here we've got Cheers, Garden, Time, Baby and bugs okay and i'm not going to pull all of these out individually because you're going to see it all in the samples in a moment but you've got your stamps here and then these are all your dies so and these are nice size as well they're not like really dinky they're good size dies celebrate with bubbles lovely bubbly it's party time cheers and happy birthday again all the same fonts that we've used in past collections so you can mix and match your sentiments I love the bug card you showed. Yeah, that's for my nephew's birthday. I can't wait for him to see that one. And then the garden one. The hero of this is this little gnome. <laughs> He's adorable. And again, I've got a demo. Um, but if you're going to buy anything out of these, get this one because it's so cute. You got your little seed packet. You got a little picket fence. Your watering can. Your little pliers there or secateurs, whatever it is. The scissors get all mixed up with some of them. And your toadstool there as well. And then you've got enjoy the little things in life, happy retirement, garden party, sorry, I have plants this weekend and keep on growing. So some nice little fun sentiments there. And then time. So this is something really different um, that we've not really touched on this kind of thing, I think, as a, as a um, brand. But this is um, works really well with the funny face and obviously the clock face. So you've got your little pocket watch, you've got different cogs, you've got some more fancy um, clock hands there you've got a little calendar you got your side kind of clock and some other clock cogs there as well time to celebrate it's a special time i will always have time for you your time to shine and i love you big time and i 
think if you're going to make maybe like a watch then things like I will always have time for you is nice for like Valentine's and things. So you can do some more quirky cards that way. And if you've got the creative cuts squares, I always remember Benita, but she made a watch strap and she made a gentleman's uh, watch with that. So if you use that watch strap, these sentiments, and you've got your clock faces and stuff there because you can snip away. So snip away here, here, here and here. You've got a face, snip away these bits and you've got a, you know, a bigger face there as well. And that's what these dies will do, snip into them and then, you know, cut and add different colours and things to them. Thank you, everybody. And then we've got baby. The reason why you might notice the packaging is a bit different. Some of these are pre-sample packagings. And then this is your proper one with the lovely foiling and stuff. And this is what you guys will get. And then we've got the baby one here. So, again, I already had this when we launched the last collection and I, I made the little squares you would have seen. But in this one, you have them so you can create one, two, three blocks, ABC blocks and baby. You can spell that out. And then you've got your little bear, the baby grow and the little footprints there. And then the sentiments, baby shower, made with love, mini boss, which is my favourite. Oh, baby and precious, um, precious little one and then baby love. And then lastly, like I said, I did pre-warn for the, uh, the spider approaching. Um, but you've got this one here, Bugs and Kisses, have a bug-tastic birthday, friends like you can bug me any day, and I heard you caught a bug. Um, and then just a selection of bugs, you've got the beetles there as well, the butterfly, the ladybird, and um, yeah, and that's it. Really sweet little set, love the mini boss, yeah it's kid, isn't it? Yes, these will be perfect, it was so hard making a clock face myself. <laughs> okay, so that is all the collection, so let's show you some samples, and then we can start the demos. Thank you, everybody. Um, loving the garden theme and the time theme. Yeah, let me know what your favourite um, ones are. Um, I'm going to be pulling a winner today. You're going to win the main mechanism and the baby set. So I'll just show actually. And then we'll do the same for YouTube. The YouTube winner will be announced on Monday because that's a pre-record. But you'll, today's winner in this live I'm going to choose will win this with this one. OK, I think it's about 40, over 45 or something. We've got two prizes. It comes to over £85. So, yeah, so someone today in the live will win this. And don't worry if you've already purchased this, you'll get it refunded. OK, Jeanette, the numbers. Yeah, they are good and they're timeless. You know, you're going to use them all the time. Love the magnifying glass of the bugs. Well, I'll start with that one first. And that was one of the early sneak peeks that I did. So this one here is a card that I've made for my nephew. He turns, I'm sorry, that is a complete lie. This is for my best friend's little boy who turns five. <laughs> I will be doing one for my nephew. Um, and then the bottom here opens and inside I have the battery pack and you can see it turns on the lights. But you don't have to have a battery pack in here. Like I said, this could be a small gift that you pop in here, but you can also seal it off completely and I'll be sharing um, you know different tutorials with that but that is your magnifying glass and what I've done is I've suspended the bugs between two sheets of acetate so you've got one sheet at the bottom and then I put another sheet behind this frame added the bugs with some foam and then stuck that together all the lights inside I've used the wood grain embossing folder inside there and all around the edge here as well you've got all that room on the back to be able to write your message and then you can see just how nice the numbers look layered up and with that background die as well how fun's that see bugs can be cute <laughs> and i know he's going to really enjoy that one i'm just going to remember to turn the batteries off because um the lights off sorry because i don't want the batteries to go so that's one example that just shows you magnifying glass there and then we've got this one here which gem has made and this is a huge shaker i reckon she's used a whole tube of sequins in this one <laughs> i know she was waiting for them to come but again what a lovely keepsake for a 21st birthday you can see the flowers there where she's laid them up got the little uh, butterfly there and you can see the stitched detail in the floral frame and i think the papers are from the creative cuts collection so it's a really sweet one again you can see it all stands up and then just add your mats and layers on the back there to be able to write your message and then I've done this one here. So this is using the bubbles for a new baby. Well, it's a baby shower card, but I've added the styrofoam balls. So they look like bubbles inside. So again, a nice big, you know, shaker element inside there. And you can see the footprints right on the back, just cut into the cardstock there. And then you've got your ducks. And you've got dies that will stick inside the frame here so you can build lots of depth. That's the whole point of these cards is to add a lot of depth to them and 
I just, you know me by now, I don't make quick cards. I like cards that are showstoppers, that have a lot of detail, that have taken me all day to make. <laughs> <laughs> that I've thoroughly enjoyed and immersed myself in um, and that's what I hope you guys take from this as well so you can see how cute the little bear and the, the baby grow is there as well when you you know paper piece them together your grandson would love the bugs card <laughs> samples are fab thank you and yeah thank you to Gemma Gemma's in the chat um, I believe Gemma will be sharing some tutorials as well so look out for Gemma she's on YouTube under Gemma Lee Crafts and it's Al with a L E I G H and then I've done this one here. So this shows the swinging element, but it's always difficult to show swinging cards when you're doing anything live with the camera overhead. So the one here is suspended, it's swinging on there. You can hear it knocking from side to side. So it is there. I'm going to do some little um, like Instagram videos, TikTok videos, showing them all moving and they will get shared onto my Facebook page as well. But you can see the building blocks where I've used the, the bottle here and the bib. And the pin and the duck that's from the last collection but we've got the little bear there again and the mini boss you know that's a nice keepsake people keep their new baby cards you know they put them away and it'd be nice to know that someone 21 years later pulled this out to look at it you know so i couldn't choose what i wanted so i got the whole collection <laughs> um and then we've got another baby one i've got all the babies together here actually and this one Gemma's done you can see the the, the duck there swings in the bubbles Again, it's difficult to, to show that, but um, I love this one. Lovely bubbly, and then she's got all the bubbles around the frame as well. She's used the accent glaze there to create little water droplets. I think it's really sweet. Um, lovely samples, Gemma, yeah. Yes, I definitely learnt from you and Gemma to take the time and make card special, definitely. Someone just asked me, how long does it take to make a card? I said, however long I want it to. Yeah, it's true, isn't it? You can see that one there and then we've got this one so this is using your all your celebratory images and i've got the little clock there as well so time to celebrate happy hour is swinging again inside you can't <laughs> it's really hard to show it and you can see the clock face how cool is that i've used the accent glaze and um, the holographic card on all the different um images there and then on the back, you can see again, all that space. I think it's a good one for work colleagues as well, because there's quite a lot of space for people to sign. So yeah, I think it's really cool. And then you've got this one, which shows the clock face. Gemma's made this one. So she's got the, the clock hands there, the cogs, time to celebrate. Again, I think that looks really cool. But use these, you know, they don't always have to be used on this card. You can just have that as a nice circle easel card or a rocker card and things like that. And then I've done this one here. So this is your little, this one that I've done as a retirement card. But you can see how cute the gnome is. And I did share a little sneak peek of this one. <laughs> really, really cute. You've got the little toadstools there. Just how it's all layered up with the mir mirrored card behind there. Yeah, holographic card, that's my favourite. I've got to use it. How sweet is that? And then again, on the back there. And then we've got another light up one. This one's by Gemma, so again, I just pop the lights on and she's done this whimsical little fairy garden here. She's used green glitter card. You can see the fairy on the front, which she's paper pieced. And then you've got the silhouettes all in the background and she's done like a really nice distressed sky there in the back. I think that's gorgeous. Bugs and kisses. Such a pretty card. I know lots of people in our group. If you're not in my group, head over to Facebook, obviously after this, to Mixed Up Crafters. And it's a lovely, very active group where people share beautiful makes and it's just really good chat and friendships and stuff. So yeah, if you want to join a nice group, head over there. And that's where you'll see people sharing makes using this, but also anything else that I you know make on YouTube. But how lovely is that? I'll just turn that one off and then I've got one more to show you and this one also has the gift bag so I did mention um well I mentioned in my YouTube videos this is a gift bag that I've made specifically for these size cards so they will hold the dimension I've given you a little bit extra for anybody that does decorate over the edges but just to use the frame on the front um it's I think a really nice way to present the card and then a nice way for them to be able to keep it you know protected and store away and stuff so this is the one that i've made for this card here 
again I shared a little sneak peek of this one so this is the card celebrate with bubbles you can see all that detail and you can see how big those champagne bottles are this is a six inch diameter the bottle is about four inches I think but really really cute again on the back there I've got lovely bubbly but you can see how the gift bag looks now even you know like I said if you're not buying the 3d die but you like to make gift bags and packaging this is a fun packaging idea so this works really well on its own it's just a nice gift bag size but this one um i filmed it i just need to edit it and that will go up onto my youtube channel so that you've got the bag that will be you know the right size for this card but i thought that was really nice as well on its own that's an old um, stamp from the terrific towers collection um so i just thought that looked quite good and then just some ribbon i've used some acetate on there and i've done the the circle so that it it hits when this is inside so you see you know all of that detail just put that in there there we go there we go how fun is that so yeah so you've got the bag already as well right okay if you've got any questions specifically to this collection pop them in large capitals um, and then I'll be able to see it um, but craft sash are in the background as well so they should be able to help with anything else so first of all what I'm going to do is one demo where I make it from scratch and decorate it then I've got another one where I've already made the base and then I'm going to decorate it because I wouldn't have got two full kind of demos in within <laughs> otherwise we would have gone into hours and hours so first of all we're going to oh, let's grab this one here I'm going to do a garden one with all of those gnomes. So I shared a um, photo of what could have been the seven dwarfs, <laughs> which are really cute. But I've got all the little gnomes here and we're going to make a fun little garden party card. Um, gift bag's fantastic. Thank you. Anita, I don't know how you and Gemma sleep at night. All your brilliant makes and ideas must be going around and around in your heads. Ah. Um, yeah, I'm very lucky to have Gemma doing the DT for me um she's very good such a great way to give a card yeah i think so imagine this is a wedding card um and that all oh, that brings me on to these quickly as well so papers if you've got any of these past papers they look really nice um so we've got the especially if you're doing like the bugs and things like that you've got the double slider with the woodland scenes there um you've got your jungle scenes and then you've got this one here one of the demos i'm going to be using that paper and then for today's I've used this one but I also thought if you've got the um, the passing your test um, the car themed stamps and there's the papers for it you can imagine this if you do it in black it could be a tire or a steering wheel and then a nice way to do a card for someone who's passed their test or maybe they've brought a new sports car or they're just mad on cars and it's a nice birthday card um, so yeah I just think this paper pad um, is a is a really nice one that works with this um, because it's that six inch size you can cut the die um, you know and you don't lose any of the you know the detail um, okay so let's go through all of this here so first of all let's just pop all of the detail bits and pieces snow globe oh I mean Christmas yeah there's going to be so many fun little scenes that you can create and I've got some future, in fact, my Christmas, um, my Christmas collection, which will be launching in the summer, that will work really well to build the scenes inside this. So, um, yeah, hopefully, hopefully you enjoy that. But we don't want to talk about Christmas. Let's get back to where we are now. We're, we're all in spring mode now and that kind of thing. So you want to cut yourself for every one that you make. You want to cut three of this die here. And this one has all of the teeth on it, the crocodile teeth, um, and that's how we attach it around the circle. And then you want to cut one of the base. So I'm just going to go through those oh, and the back one. So the largest die you need to cut and then cut three of this one and one of your base. That's if you want to close it off. You can just leave it, where was this one, Gemma done? It's just open with the batteries inside. So, you know, it's up to you. What you'll find is on the end here where you haven't got the tab so this is my tab end there's a little arrow I go into more detail in all of the, the YouTube videos so don't worry about all of this now um, but you've got the little arrows you want to cut across 
on two of these three pieces above that arrow. Okay, I think it was seven, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, yeah, so it's seven that you're cutting away. So you're going to do that on two. Oh, I forgot to do it on this one. If you just flip it over, you should. No, maybe not. Oh, it was this end. Yeah, you can see it. <laughs> just cut that one. There we go. Right. Those two will make you full circle. This one will cover the arch of the base. Okay. Then I've been using double sided tape now on most of the samples. Um, I would recommend a red liner because that is really sticky and it's going to last. But this is still a good quality double sided tape. So I've been using that. You can use your liquid glue and I do share it on this tutorial. But you can get yourself quite messy with it. Um, and you've obviously got to hold it in place. But the good thing with the liquid glue is you've got the wiggle room. Whereas with the double sided tape, you're kind of committed once it sticks down. So, you know, as I say with most of these things, you, when you first get it, use some of your scrap card, stuff that you're not really bothered about, and just practice. Do a practice run, and that way you know what works best for you, and then cut into your good stuff, okay? I also like to just go over the score lines, so just run it through your, your scoreboard, and just um, go back over those. And then I'm going to run my tape along all of them. Don't stick them all, you know, individually. Gosh, you don't need to do any of that. So just run that tape all the way down and then depending on the frames that you use will depend on so you mm, I don't know if we do on these ones maybe not but what I did so I just went because again you're not adding any adhesive onto it but just snip off the points you don't need to do it on all of them again you'll know when you're doing it but just for the minute until you get used to it but I'm just cutting away they're not going to affect anything which just means you won't get any poking into your seam the really thick like clock face you don't need to worry about snipping it away and if you're using just the die set because also I didn't mention that is the style that just the die without any of the additional frames will create you can either have it plain or you've got that scallop detail so that is what you'll get just with the die set so it's a really pretty see you know frame that you can you know use with anything um, okay And then any opportunity to get my little hoover out. I've got all these pieces. Okay. So what you want to do next is just fold and burnish all of the score lines. getting two lots of snipping noises in the background well, I'm not sure why because I'm only streaming through one thing um, so I'm not sure why why that would be the case <laughs> you haven't got another device on somewhere that's playing me as well it's slightly delayed I know if I've got the TV on in the living room and then I've got the same thing on my iPad there's always a little delay oh Carmen what did you go for <laughs> the desk over here is a good little one, isn't it? So just get them all burnished. And then you want to add a little... I need to move that bag out of the way so I can get to everything. I'd get your glue gun on as well when you're at this point. Get your glue gun on if you like to use it to stick everything down, like all the detail. Use your bone folder or something just to add a curve into all of these pieces. Like so. went for the happy hour and the numbers nice I actually own two hoovers for my craft table craft desk. <laughs> main mechanism in the clock nice because you've got the numbers then as well Carmen so it's a good one right take your circle and you can if you want actually one of the half pieces the small piece that you cut and your base leave to one side make sure you've got the long and the short now if you want to add these together now you can 
or do it as you go around. I've been doing a bit of both, to be honest. I don't think it really matters. Um, this card stock weight is about 270, 280. Yeah, under the sea, 100%. It could be a pond. Um, it could be, you know, looking down into the sea. So any of my under, excuse me, under the sea stamps and dies we're using there. How cool would the octopus look swinging and the different fish and the dolphin? Well, you could have the dolphin stuck outside. So he's like, you know, jumping around the circle. Um, so many fun ways to use this. I can see a beautiful diamond ring for an engagement. That's a nice idea, Liz. Yeah, very nice idea. Um, so I'm going to take the backing off of here and then take my circle and you want to stick it right up to the edge and I'm pinching it with my left hand and I'm just working it around with my right. Find what works for you. Once you get going, but add that curve to the card. If you don't add the car curve to the card, you'll be fighting against it. So it just makes it so much easier. You can see that it's just tacking it into place as I go around. I've got time to reposition it a little bit. I'm not like pushing it right down yet. And then up to the end there. And then I can go in and just go over the edges there. Don't worry about the stickiness, you're going to cover all that in a minute. And then you're going to take the other one and grab my glue. Mechanism and number bundle, clock edition set, was tempted with the garden one. Again, they're all going to be around for a bit. So, and if we sell out, I, I must admit, I think the mechanism's going to go today. Um, that will be reordered and again it all depends on how quick the additions go and then they will be reordered um, you make it look so easy it is like I said I've, I have made <laughs> I think when me and Gemma first get these obviously I made my sample because um, I'd already made it in a card for my nephew so I knew what I was kind of doing but um, you know when you first get them in you are you know there's a few a few little test runs first of all okay And then you're going to take the end and take the backing off. Like so. Fold that in. And you're just going to sit it over the top there. Until they line up. Like so. Just hold that in place. Like I said, you might choose that you want to stick it all together at the same time. I bet most of this collection has already sold before you came live. <laughs> okay, and then again, just start working that around. And you will see it will join right up with the end. So just add some glue in the ends there. And then stick that together and you've got your matte layers to cover as well I haven't used them a mass amount to be honest I use them on um, this one because that's a white base I've used that color on top I used it on this one with the embossed wood grain but they are there if you want to I was able to buy last night an IPN. Was that a VIP privilege? Well, you had the shop now, Jeanette, so it was on there. Um, they must have got it sorted earlier than we thought. Hands up who stayed to order. <laughs> okay, so right now it's very flimsy. Don't worry about that at all. What you want to then do is the joins either side, have them on the side. That's where I've been doing it. If you want to have them on the top, you can, but I've had them on the side because you don't see them then. Sam, I think it has been asked for what? Yeah, it's about 270 surely any have you anything about 220 i always say because i think actually let me just check um i want to say Gemma's was a lighter weight cardstock probably around a 220 um all my white card is 300 ah that's oh again no that looks like it's not that's a heavier weight 
I have used heavy weights on these, but I'm just checking that black card. The black one, there we go, it's a good example. That is about a 220 GSM card and it's fine. Just make sure you're above that, you'll be fine. Then you want to take, if you want to add your background, this could be plain, um, like the baby one here, it was a plain blue and then I die cut the feet into it. Um, this one has been embossed. So the next size down, the circle, again, I go through all the detail with the dies in the tutorial, so don't worry for now. But um, oh no, I think that was the next size down. This is the same size because I want it completely covered. Um, like Gemma, that's the same size die there. So the one for the back, just cut again in your pattern paper. And I'm going to use the construction glue. The clock was 220. There you go. So Gemma's used that as well. So yeah, 220 up, I would say you're going to be fine. And as I always say, if you're using your construction glue, that's just going to, it's like cement between your cards. So it's all going to, you know, end up being very strong. So got my joins there because this is directional I want to make sure I've got the grass at the bottom and then just pop that inside it's going to be nice and snug that's what you want in fact the grass line lines up perfectly with the join there and then just drop that down and then just use your bone folder there just to go around and spread out all that glue so now if you're going to add shaker pieces all that kind of stuff you want to think about that now I'm going to keep this one open because I'm going to be building up a scene in front so I've got my additions frame there but I've also using the same size die from the set cut my white circle and then I've cut the one here that's in the middle stitched and I've created this frame I'm going to stick this down first and then use that to stick this one on you could if you want stick that straight on you see there it will cover the teeth but just to give you a little bit more structure I would add a little base first um I love these I would use it as a balloon weight balloon weight oh what a nice idea oh I like that imagine the baby shower one with all the balloons coming up that is a really nice idea Beverly if you hear me say that again thank you <laughs> you join VIP just will you save straight away Lucy um with your first purchase so yeah you save um it's 9.99 for the year the vip if i haven't mentioned it already um so you, you very quickly get back your money but you get first look videos launches you know, early bird purchasing which many of you took out yesterday um exclusive content 10 percent discount off of everything apart from machines clearance and gift cards um and there's loads of other things happening. They're going to be doing more and more to it as the months go by. Exactly, yeah, more stability. I always tend to do this bit at the join. So I'm just pinching that down there and then just start again, working your way around, keeping it right up to the edge. Keeping that circle shape. And it's, once you've added this top bit, it becomes very, very strong circle. But even on its own, you don't need to have the stand. It's That's where I then thought of like a pond. You could have a little fisherman. So you could have it more 3D in this sense. So you could have a fisherman up like this with his little fishing rod. Um, and then looking down into the fish, it could be a fish tank. Um, you know, you don't have to add the base. That's a nice, you know, thing on its own like that. Or actually, I've just had an idea. You could stick the base with it this way up. Like, you know, that's like that. I'll show you what I mean in a minute in case that's not making any sense. <laughs> Isn't there, Rosalind? Just so many ideas. Um, would it be easier to add the double-sided tape before cutting the die cut? Double-sided before cutting the die cut. Double-sided. I don't know what you mean. Sorry, I've got too much going through my head right now. Quite possibly. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know what you mean. The complete collection fell into my basket and I accidentally on purpose clicked pay now. Oops, oh well. <laughs> Looks like a swimming pool. Okay, um, and then we can add the flower. So now I can just add my glue and stick that one down. What a happy little card. Look great as a hot air balloon and then turn the bottom piece the other way round and suspend it underneath. Yeah, I guess you could turn it into a rocker as well. I'm thinking you could turn that stand upside down. 
so it rocks. So many ideas. I'm adding my glue. I'm going to stick this on now so then I can go to the base while this dries. could be the view from a porthole on a ship. Yeah, porthole, we had that one earlier, I think. Good idea. Shake a card cake using the Ferris. Yeah, I said about the Ferris wheel on the front. I, I, I'm going to definitely look at that because I think it'll look quite cool. Um, oh, good night, Viv. Bless you. Thank you for coming. <laughs> Aren't they? Endless. All right, let me just make sure that's <laughs> Benita. <laughs> My head's spinning. Okay, so whilst that's drying, we can go to the base. So again, just fold and burnish all of these score lines. You've added a curve into that. And then I'm going to take the backing off. Like so. And then I like to start with the end where there's no tab. And you want to, oh no, hang on a minute. Oh, I'm taking the wrong bit. You need this bit first. <laughs> I'm thinking, why is that not right in my head? Cut the largest of this shape. You've got your nested um, layers to this. So you've got another, um, where is it? Here we are. There we go. That's the nest of them. So I've got the mirrored card and then I've got my sentiment. Okay. With this one and this end here, you stick it down, first of all, so it's straight, just tap, just pinch that very first little tooth. So that's all straight. Okay, and then start pinching it. It's quite a, a curve at the very bottom. And once you've done one side, the other side's really easy to stick down. And again, you've got your matte layer. So if you've got a nice pattern paper that you want to put across this, you can. And if you've gone a bit like wonky or something i always say add a bit of pom-pom trim some ribbon more embellishments it's quite a forgiving card for hiding little mistakes so um <laughs> don't feel disheartened if your circles maybe not quite how you you know pictured it looking because you can easily cover it up okay just gonna hide that little bit of tape there at the end and then again with this end Take the backing off. And, oh, I've only cut one. That's why I was confusing myself. I didn't cut two. Right, let me just grab my dye machine. I thought there's bound to be something I've missed cutting. Let's just take that one. And you just see it here. So there's your little nest of them. So just take that one. And some spare green, I think I have. <laughs> Bet mine won't be a circle. I'm sure it will. Said, so just take your time, don't rush it. Well, that's another thing, Sandra. You just reminded me. How many times have I done a live or there's been times I'm sure for lots of you where you've wanted something circular, like think of the little um like the tombstone gift boxes I did, the little um the mailbox, they've all got that curve and I've had to cut the little teeth myself. Well, you've now got a good, simple die that you'll be able to use for any slight handbags where I've done them, you know, yeah. Hopefully you'll get lots of use from it. Okay, so now I'll go back to this one again. Start from that end. And the end down first so it's all nice and straight like so okay and then just bring that up but it's already it's very easy doing the second one because your shape's already there like so and right up like I said it's quite a little arch on the very end there but you'll see it will all fit in oh yes the chrome plate yeah, it's really good for um detailed dies and i just find i get a good first 
cut all the time with it. And again, just go in there and secure all of that. And then this is to attach your closure. I'm going to seal this one off completely. Just so you can see how that's done. So just hold that there. Make sure it's nice and straight. Again, you can attach this as you've attached that piece as well. Um, the teeth are just a simple idea, yeah. Um, Monty is at Jay's today just because I'm doing this solo and Lou's not here. I thought best to have him out of the way so I can crack on with this. I mean, he's as good as gold, but it'd be just my luck he'd want to go out or... He'd start, you know, wanting my attention by my feet and I hate to ignore him. So he's playing with his friends today. And now if you fold in the sides and then the end there, you've got your box or just your closure to then add your battery pack. OK. But that I thought you could do it that way. So if you want to have that um, kind of pool, swimming pool kind of look. You know, you could do something quite fun this way as well. Um, no, you'll get it, Maria. Um, but yeah, so to just seal it off completely, you might want to add some weight into this. If you want to put a little bit of like sand or some stones, if you do want to weight it down. I know someone said about having it as a balloon, um, whatever they're called, then you may want to put some weight to it. Um, especially if there's quite a lot of helium balloons attached but I love that idea I think that's really cute it's like the balloons will eventually you know obviously go down but then they've got that card at the end I think that's quite a nice idea but yeah pop it all in there and then just and just put some pressure on the sides really easy to stick it all down I'm just gonna glue off my hands bird table yeah how cute so many nice ideas why well, I love doing the lives. Let's push that up a little bit. A hot tub. <laughs> you could have the Daisy May ladies, the loose ladies, um, or the swimmers as well. They would look quite good. <laughs> Couldn't resist ordered lol. Here's to making things. You'll make sure you share your makes. Tag craft stash um, and share them in our group as well. Okay. And then I like to use my hot glue for this. You don't have to. I know not everyone likes using the glue gun, but you just want to add a generous amount on the top there. And then make sure I've got my seam the right way up. Just going to keep it this way for a minute so that glue doesn't run. Just pushing my hand inside just to make sure it's all secure. I can feel the heat coming through so I know it's spread out. I said that earlier about Daisy May Lady in the bath with all the bubbles. Yeah, what a good idea. I think it would look really cool. Can you imagine it like popping up from the bubbles there? Really sweet. I meant ordered and his. So making things look less like a two-year-old sticking <laughs> Hey, Carol. <laughs> yeah, write them all down, Rosalind. Okay, so now we've got that all in place. Then I can stick my sentiment down. Now we can start building our little party. Just pop that under there. There we go. How cute is that? Right, now another thing that I haven't cut, which I'm going to quickly do, is the little um, supports for you to be able to have things all stuck internally. So in the die set, you get this die here. You need to cut two to make a pet. You need to cut two to make one support because they stick back to back. So let me just. Take this one. The height of the circle is so six by six, but then with each additional frame, it's going to slightly vary. Um, I think the biggest one's coming in nearly seven, but once you've got the base attached, it will be a six by eight card. But I've made that gift bag, which I shared at the start, specifically to hold these. Thank you, Diadia. It's 
So I think I'll do four just so I've got enough. I'm going to trim a little bit off some of them as well. I just want to show you some other ways to use it. Yes, it's all in the it's all from the same set, Pamela. You can see the images of the dies online. Um, I'm going to be trimming a bit off of this so I don't need the whole base part. <laughs> I need more time crafting. Okay. Yeah, everything to make the main stuck the main circle so this here so don't ignore the decoration everything you see there is all in the die set so you can see the supports how they work you can see how you've got things in there and that's what creates all that depth <clears throat> right let's just pop this one back so you've got a little score line on these ones so you just want to fold that over so i don't know how many or where i'm going to use these yet but i know i'm going to need a couple Add the glue on the largest part, but you can trim that down if you want and stick them back to back. This has got a slight curve. The curve of that is the same curve of the circle. So it just means they fit in there nicely and go flush with the, the side of it. Space. Oh, yeah, definitely with my space collection as well. How cute would that look? Oh, and the circle frames as well from the um, turn and reveal. You can use those with this as well. Do you know what I was thinking about that laws earlier and I thought about this one if I was just maybe some might say I'm, I'm under pricing um but I would say 10 pound you could definitely get that for with all that detail at a craft fair I think the card on its own without the gift bag seven pound what do people think because I know there are people that are, and more and more craft fairs are starting up now I see a lot more of them around um I know that's got a little bit of glue showing there but it's not going to matter Igloo, nice idea. Loving all these ideas. And it's good because I can do future mini collections with additional um, frames. So we could do a space theme frame, we could do a poolside um, igloo, you know. So, you know, if I. Well, I will remember a lot of these. Um, if I buy the VIP from UK site, the whole bunch of. No, the whole bundle isn't that price at all. The whole bundle is 170 something. I don't know where you're getting that price from. I'm not sure where you're seeing that. The, the bundle is right at the top and it's not that. Um, you think 15, Sue? You, I think you do sell your cards, don't you? I don't, so I'm probably not the best person to ask, in all fairness. You think 12 for the card alone and 15, but there you go. Look, there's obviously people that do this more than me. So I don't really sell my cards. And when I do sell them, I sell them for a couple of pounds because <laughs> they go to my friends in their workplaces. <laughs> Simone, you get 10 euro for a showstopper card. I charge 20 for that. There you go. If you know people are going to pay those prices, don't undercharge yourself. I just don't do it. So I'm not the best to ask. Um, yeah, that's uh, that sounds like more like the price uh, laws. Um, looking out into the sea, like yeah, nice. So now you can stick these at the top around here, and you could have maybe you've got a little sunshine or something. You could stick that on there. Um, you can then have them at the bottom. And you can put like the little picket fence or other things on. I haven't. I'm not going to add the swinging one. I don't think. Maybe I'll do it on the next one. Um, but you'd have your swing stuck down here. So. Lots of different things, but I think we'll have a couple of the gnomes inside, a couple on the frame here, and then some down the bottom. So let's just think about the placement. So I've just done these rainbow gnomes, so maybe we'll do this one inside. Let's just add that. Do it slightly up there. So you'll see the curve. I'm not sure how well that's... You can stick them wherever you want. Yeah, Jan, depends where you live. Excuse my stomach rumbling then, if any of you call that. But can you see, if I bring that up, how that's stuck in there? So you, you could add loads of these around inside, all in different positions. So you've got them further back and some closer. So let's think about 
I just want to get these roughly placed so I know well, a couple maybe there and then let's have a gang of them inside maybe one down there and then let's have a gang of them let's do the yellow oh it's nice when they do that Louise because I've done that before my mum's friend brought some and I told her the price and then she gave me extra she said no 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 so but if you're getting that I'd love you to be getting those prices for the cards because they are beautiful so I think we'll have them maybe like, like that so they're kind of going around the circle so I'm just going to add a little glue and just kind of get them just put them there just want to get these stuck down how cute you can see all the detail piecing them back together I just use my pen to draw the black pupils Aren't they cute? I thought these ones are going to have glittery hats and holographic uh, belt buckles. <laughs> and then I do him on the front as well. But yeah, someone said, I'm waiting for the Snow White. <laughs> I saw that comment. I can't remember who it was. It was very quick before I went live. Um... <laughs> Yeah, they did. They took me because I'd done seven. Obviously, I cut seven of everything. Um, Gemma, you're under charging. Um, yeah, I cut seven of everything. So it did take probably it took me a movie and the movie was about an hour and 40 minutes. But I always say this as well. Build your stash, you know, spend a day just die cutting and putting things together and then um, do the crafting, you know, making the cards the next day's kind of thing. Small little googly eyes. Do you know what? You could actually put googly eyes on those. And then I'm just going to add some glue onto this. And make sure they're all secure. And then oh, just stick him on there. Just to hold that for a second. <laughs> the cuteness of the gnomes. I'm not a gnome fan. You all know that. I've um, People have been asking for ages, so this is just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> hi ho hi ho yeah <laughs> okay make sure that's secure i'm just going to keep it it's going to fall back for a minute but i'm going to show you how you can use in fact that's what i use the other support for um to just lift that up so then we have what did i have maybe we'll have one little lonely soul right at the back <laughs> no let's have the orange on the front and then maybe no we'll do the red the three Three of them here something like that um and then in fact no i'm gonna have this one here and then i can have the fence attached to that one so we'll stick all them down in a minute so let's pop this one a little bit closer and i'm just going to i'll stick it that way actually what time are we on oh gosh i haven't even done my second demo yet <laughs> might be the longest uh craft stash launch today <laughs> i've got to get the other one done it's too nice to not share it okay like so so I've stuck with the same colors that are in the card and then i can attach the picket fence and then you can stick other bits on top of that let's do in fact i'm wondering no i'm gonna have the fence on the very front yeah and then we'll stick something else on that we'll do like the seed packs or something so maybe let's do the fence on here you're not a known fan but i must say the breaker i know i must admit they are cute like i said not a known fan either but right i've got my garden party sign so that i look quite sweet maybe there we'll have the seed pack maybe in there and we've got the toadstools as well this is the nice thing about this it's just having some fun have everything cut and ready to go and then it's just easy then we don't mind <laughs> um, put this stuff down here I have to use my glue gun to do some of the other bits now because they're kind of layering up on top of each other let's get the glue gun I like to use all my cards so I don't like to rush I've rushed samples in the past and then I've never really been able to use them 
so I want to make sure these are just how I like them and then we'll have him I might just use my glue on him there if you get any glue strings you can just blast them off with your heat tool they just kind of melt away and then let's do work for now and then we'll have maybe we could have the garden party sign up there okay let's get you stuck down anybody else do this talk to himself and I mean I know I'm talking to you but I am all <laughs> kind of talking to myself as well Him up there I think that looks quite cute and then I've got the big flowers which were left over from the other card. So I think we'll have them there. I've got my butterfly to go inside. Cute, isn't it? <laughs> Again there. And then let's get the butterfly in, so that's going to go inside. And then I can build up on top of that. So I'll just use the holographic card. A little glue. Oh, pop him in there. There we go. That'll lift up in a minute once I lifted the little little gnomes up, and then we've got. Let's get the garden party um, sign in. I kind of like that because then I can have that one there, maybe that one there. Yeah, so we'll stick him in there. usually have my fair baby in my craft room but since she can't answer me back yet it's like talking to myself <laughs> can you show us the size of the additions dies please also how many runs through the machine does each gnome take well it depends on how many pieces you're adding to the gnome um i shared all the dies at the beginning karen so after this you'd be able to go back and you can see all of that and i give you the measurements um but the gnomes i guess what the green the beard, the skin colour, so that's three, the hat, four, the black, five, and then the glitter, six. Six times? Right, how are we looking there? Loving it. What I'm going to do is actually attach his arm to the back of the seed pack and then that won't drop back. And then let's do, do that one in there. Lots of you talk to yourself, that's good. <laughs> and then maybe we'll have, you don't have to add these bits, but I feel like I should. Let's do that one on there. Like so. And then maybe we'll have the blue ones down there like so and then I just want to add a little glue like so you probably want to make sure your inside's completely done but I'm just going to bring him forward and he's going to stick right behind the seed pack there I'm just going to use my tweezers to squeeze that glue together like so, give that a minute to dry, keep that that way for a second and then I will show you, but it looks so cute. Okay, I'll bring it around in a sec. Um, let me see what questions 
Um, loving all the details. Love the bright and cheerful you've made this. Thank you. Um, oh, I need to pop one over there. Colin, yeah, you've got to get Colin out. And that's another thing. If you've got the twist and pop with the garden, the, the um, watering, no, the wheelbarrow, the spade, that will all coordinate perfectly with this as well. Okay, I think that's secure. stick i'm talking to myself right now and i've lost something i need to finish a card i was on my desk two seconds ago oh god i hate that when that happens hours and hours of fun to be had with this collection yes most definitely there we go you see i've just attached the corner of the seed pack there to him um i don't think we need the other two toadstone another toadstool for now there you go if i just bring that up see all that detail and it's sweet such a fun card and then just cut your other circles for the back oh I've got some glue there you can mat and layer and um, I'll get rid of that and uh, yeah you've got all that space then on the back keep those bits for another card so that is one card <laughs> but then we're only an hour in so that's just one idea on how you can use this lovely 3d display set oh i've got another i knew i had another flower let me just add that you've got to have threes i knew i'd cut three let's have a view just there there we go love the seed pack i know it's sweet isn't it could put another toadstool on the back yeah i might feed it in later but i've got it now anyway um thank you everybody um would it be possible to put mini eggs in the bottom of this card a somewhat different kind of easter egg i would put them in here actually in here and they have to break into the card to get them if you're going to put them on the bottom and have it as a gift box then i would recommend you kind of putting a tab or something not a tab but just like maybe a magnet or some hook and loop and have the 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 tablets folded in on the outside so then they can take it out but also if you've got weight in there like eggs then they're all just going to fall out um bumblebee yeah i've got bumblebees um you need a new room to store all these i know so there you go so that's that one and i'll just show you the for anyone that's missed it the other one that I did that's the other one so I've used the watering can like it's you know got the water coming down I've used the grass there which is from the easy edges die set um, and then the other seed packs there you can see cute aren't they so that's a retirement and then a birthday because I've used the garden party sentiment so you've got that birthday element to it how would you post it you'd have to put it in a gift box you know a, a postal box to send it but i would always i always say these kind of ones personally i'd hand deliver uh, facebook keeps throwing you out oh sorry about that right okay so moving on the next one is already made we're just decorating so this one i'm going to make into a shaker um simone you pay 15 pounds for that sam if i couldn't make it myself it's fabulous thank you I think with the lights as well, then yeah, you probably are looking at those kind of prices. Like I said, these are keepsake cards. These are ones that you know people are going to keep, not throw away. Right. Um, okay, so let's get this one. Oh, well, first of all, let's talk through what I'm using. So this is how the clock face looks. So I've cut the back in gold. Then I've used foam sheets and cut it in this purple colour and black because it's the creative craft products it's the um this one here they come in white or black so i've got the black ones there adhesive foam sheets and we're going to add a clock face to this one no it's not going to be a shaker it's going to be the clock face sorry that's why i've got the acetate these are going to be like more bubbles so i'm combining a couple of um collections here 
So first of all, we'll get this one stuck down. So I've just put it all together exactly the same way. And I've used the papers there and I've used those papers then for my colour scheme. So the golds, you know, that lovely purpley lilac colours there. You've got the light blues and the white. So use your pattern paper sometimes to start as your, you know, base. And then I'm just going to stick that one down. Again, I need to kind of do it facing me so I can make sure I get it all lined up. Just get that one stuck down. Um, looking forward to the next one. I love making shaker cards. <clears throat> In the floral edition set, what is the small circle tab used for? Tab. It's not that you do you mean the center of the flower that one there's no tab in there or do you mean the handle for the magnifying glass which is again on that one okay so again if you want to keep it plain you can you know you don't have to add all these extras but now we're going to add our no we're not we're going to add our acetate <laughs> make sure i get in the right order So I've just got a scrap piece of acetate here, which I do need to give a bit of a clean. So if you've got any spray rubbing alcohol, just use that and some clean paper towel. Give that a nice clean. This is just a bit of scrap acetate. So, um, yeah, the shape's a bit odd, but I've just ran double-sided tape around the edge. Make sure it's big enough to fit behind whatever it is you want it to cover. I'm just going to take... Is that not the end? Oh, I thought that was the end. No, it's not. Take the backing off. And let's just stick that over the top. And again, just give that a good burnish. So, and then I want to pierce a hole in the middle. So if you've got a screw punch, they're always handy. If not, just poke it with, um, you know, your pokey tool. So I'm just going to just eyeball it really. It's about there. You want to get your your measurement, you know, your ruler out and stuff, then you can. Just punching a hole in the middle. You don't have to do the clock face like this. This is just an idea. Thank you, Debbie. That means a lot. And then I've already put it together here. But what I did, so let me just show you with the sets that I'm using here. So we've got the time. Um, oh, did I? No, I didn't end up using time, believe it or not. But you've got the cogs there. Or did I use it for the sentiment? I think I used it. Yeah. So I've taken the sentiment time to celebrate from the from that one. And I've used cheers. And then happy hour. And bubbles. Okay, so I've mixed a few up here. In this one here, when you die cut this one, you get this circle in the middle. And I've used that for here. Because I've got the brad folded out behind it, it hides the brad. Okay. And then I've just cut the the, um, the clock hands there. Okay. When you think you have picked your items, then you see the next demo. And <laughs> I just want to show you all the variations because there's so many ways. So, yeah, just pop them on there. And these are working hands. So, you know, change the time. Maybe it's the time that a, your child was born or something and it's a special birthday for them or something. I don't know. But yeah, you've got the funny face for like the Mad Hatter's tea party, like crazy, drunken kind of, you know, not that I'm, you know, what's the word? Saying you've got to get drunk and have alcohol. It's not, not that at all. Anyway, moving on. Let me just get rid of those. It's there. I've got something stuck. There we go. Now I can stick that on here. So I'm going to use use my double sided tape just because I've got the acetate there. So I'm just going to run this around the frame. Okay. 
Produce foam as well, foam pads. Entirely up to you. So don't worry if this is all crinkled because it flattens out as soon as you would take the release paper off. Advocating. I, I was going out uh, in my head and then I... <laughs> too much going on when I'm doing a live. I'm already thinking like the next thing to say whilst I'm still talking. Right, just double check. So yeah, if you want to make a shaker, throw more in there, but I'm going to use the balls on the outside. But I mean, you've got a ton of things like this. You know, these are all cheap, like tables, scatters. Get these all in like your pound shops, Dollar Tree, all that kind of thing. So now I'm going to place that over the top. Like so. So like I said now, I mean, really we should do 10 to 10 because isn't that the time? No, that way, cowboy time, isn't it? No, that way. Ten to, no, what is it? 10 to 10 to 10, 10, 10. Why can't I do it? I oh, know, because it'd be like that, wouldn't it? That's the time, sorry. But that's how it's displayed in shops. That's it. <laughs> it's the end of the week. Ignore me. Right. Sentiment. Time to celebrate. That's what I'll be doing later on. Um, <laughs> definitely having a drink tonight. That's for sure. New Year's card, brilliant, yeah. Especially if you're hosting like a New Year party or something. Um, I think it's been a nice card to bring to the party. I'm just gonna add some foam to the back of this one. 10 to two, yeah, no, it's because I was thinking in my head, 10 to 10 to 10, 10 to 10. That silly saying, I don't know if everybody done that, I think they did. And then, at the bottom. Now this card's going to be for my nan who will be turning 87 so we've got the lovely numbers there because I think any age when you get to these big numbers you should have a number you know for every card every year is worth celebrating so yeah 87 I've done there but what I want to do is we're going to have bubbles so I've cut just to show you that's how it is cut and then I've snipped away and I'm going to have this covering the bottom portion here and we're going to have our champagne bottle and everything so I'm going to add a little bit of foam again to the back of this one just snipping down I'm just using this foam because it's at hand they do do the, the tabs or you know the, all the little all foam squares ready to go um, but it's just handy it's just there so I'm just going to use these ones I'm using the foam so I can stick things in behind. Just build this all up. Love your hand. Oh, thanks. Love the big numbers on cards. Yeah. Again, sure love it. Pop them there. Pop another one. Yeah, they are nice, aren't they? Nice and big. I've frozen. No, everything's still. I'm still live. I'm still very much here. So if, if I'm frozen, is that on Sue? It might be your internet. I'm definitely still here. Should be in floods of tears. So let's. I'm just going to have to stand up, I think, for this one. Let's go about. Oh. And then you get all these circles, which will create single bu uh, single bubbles. So then you can layer up the bubbles. So I'm going to stick this down next, and then I'm going to put bubbles in front of it. So again, I'm going to add some foam to the top there. And just a little glue that will attach itself eventually to the mirrored card let's have that one just there and then we have the glass that'll 
there. We're going to have the numbers. I'll do the numbers last because they will go on top of the everything. And then we've got the cork, which I always like to have over the one there. Just like it's popped, just flying off like so. And then let's build up the rest of these. So I'll pop these all on foam again. Um, colours are fabulous. Thank you. Yeah, I just went with the colours from that paper pad. I thought it was something a bit different. No, I've not used those together. So now you start to hide bits of your image and just build up the bubbles and you can go mad. Cover the whole frame. If you've just got the plain frame, cover it all with bubbles. It looks so cool. I can hear your clock ticking. <laughs> oh yeah, it's quite appropriate, isn't it? <laughs> and then we do, we've got another group of three. Let's do those over that one. <laughs> Uh, you've got your little corkscrew here as well. I was going to have that one on that side, I think, in a minute. Or oh, I might need to add a bit more hot glue. I don't think I've stuck that down enough. I can feel it rocking. Got to get that secure. Let's do another one. Biggest collection yet. Yeah, in terms of the card size, do you mean? Um, yeah, I guess it is, doesn't it? stick it you know on top again so you start to really get those lifted bubbles and we have one there put that one under there and we'll do another one over this side Right, when to stop you know no i'm gonna add some of those little balls in a minute as well so we'll stop with those bubbles again i had more of these if i was going to do stuff inside but i think that's fine so now let's do the eight and the seven we're gonna go about there i reckon i might end up taking that one off actually let's just remove that one i can always add it again later that's better yeah go a bit higher maybe I drop that one down a bit eight and seven I don't like it in the middle yeah I think that I do like that one there let's just add I'm just gonna add a little liquid glue just to get that in place in May her birthday's May the 5th. Might have to put a little bit of foam on the end of that seven. And then I can use those other bits actually to make the gift bag for this when I do that. Just gonna have that kind of suspended there for a minute. So I just wanna get this stuck back down. Let's just get another glue stick. We're nearly there. So this is very full, very 3D, but it looks really cool. Yeah, it's a bit wobbly on the bottom. I'm just going to flip it over. And I've done this one here. Celebrate with bubbles. And that's again using the dies in the set. that heat gun's nice and hot I'm just going to add some of these gold ones just around it so they look like more 3d bubbles so I'll just take a few of these I do let's do we'll do seven 
she will love it <laughs> again nice little keepsake for her just tidy this away again if you've got any questions ask me now first two tutorials will be going out tomorrow so you've got all them ready for those of you that have ordered and um, the gift bag one i will share last so i've got demos for all of the samples that i've made um apart from obviously the two demos today so one two three four five samples and then the gift bag so you've got tons of you know different ways to use it and um, Gemma will also be sharing some videos as well I think she said she's sharing the tri triple oh I didn't share two. Oh my gosh Gemma she's probably thinking she didn't show my cards to be right we've got two more surprises in a minute let's just finish this and then I've got two more samples to show you which were Gemma's of alternative ways to use the set <laughs> like I said if you don't want to buy the mechanism there is other ways to use it <laughs> your brain is now on overdrive oh thank you everyone thank you for staying with me for an hour and a half <laughs> I'm just gonna have a quick drink a second okay all right we can get rid of that okay I mean, it, no, it is actually fine. It's not going to come off at all. No, it's fine. I'm not going to add more glue there, but we'll stick these down. And I'll be choosing a winner in a minute as well. Who will win some of this? Sam, what size box would you suggest? Um, to be honest, I've not made a box yet. I've just done the gift bag. I would do a... Let me... I mean, it's going to vary ever so slightly depending on the overhang and the box. See, like the butterflies obviously come out the side there. Um, oh, you've got the cogs, like, you know, Gemma's added them quite high there. So that is going to obviously affect it. But I would say if you just keep everything kind of within the shape, seven by eight. Do a seven by eight box. I will do one eventually. For now I've just done the gift bag um, bit of glue there get rid of that I mean this is really fiddly detail I'm doing here but it's purely because it's Nan's card so <laughs> whilst I'm doing it because Lisa and I'm done I'm very organized with my cards lately I've done my friend's little boy's card um, oh, I'm going to be doing a Mother's Day card using this as well so if you want to see a nice Mother's Day idea I will be doing that thank you ever so much everyone I really appreciate it I'm going to do one up there another one in here so it's a very tactile card which my nan loves she will sit and look at it for ages so if you know people who appreciate the things you make them then they're the ones that i love to spend you know all the time so another one down there make sure your hot glue is piping hot if your hot glue is piping hot then things will not fall off but if you don't let it um, heat up enough then you'll find things will just fall off over time there we go i'll hold it up so you can get to see all the detail because i don't think the lighting was that great on it right while that's drying let's show you two other lovely samples that Gemma's done so here is the rocker card so this is just using the additions how lovely is that Happy retirement. Enjoy the little things in life. And she's used the holographic card there. Excuse me. And I love how she's done the little gnomes. So what's that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. Oh, not with well, the blue seven. Yeah, I think about seven times to pass him through. I think that's so cute. Or you can just colour all the elements as well. So there's that one and then this one. 
This one, I know she said she's doing a, a tutorial. So this is the triple easel. I've made these before. I haven't made them for such a long time. But she's used the birthday poem from the last collection with the new baby editions. So you can see there, you've got your one, two, three blocks, your ABC. You've got all the little um, baby grows, little teddies, and then the poem on the very front. So again, you know, I'm very conscious. So everybody's got different budgets and stuff. If you just want to get just one little thing, you can still create beautiful cards, you know. But the dies are great for paper piecing. So die, die cut them a few times in different colours and then paper piece them back together again. And the papers are from the 3D Delights as well. Cute, aren't they? There you go, Gemma, I didn't forget. <laughs> so much to cover. But now let me just bring this one back up because that's all dry. You can see all that lovely detail. You've got the cheers inside there, those lovely papers from um, the pop-ups, everyday pop-ups. And then that all stands. I mean, that is going to be the centrepiece of anyone's cards. If you give them this card, they will put it in the middle of the mantle <laughs> on the side table. And if they throw cards away, I can pretty much guarantee they'll keep this. <laughs> or you've got my, my stamp that says, please don't throw me in the bin. <laughs> stick that one on the back in fact you could you could have your sentiment here and then you could have ps please don't throw me in the bin um the bin just there <laughs> so there you have it guys thank you so so much i'm just going to bring these all in again for anybody that's joined a bit later you can watch this back it will also then be going up onto youtube tonight at seven o'clock and um i'll be there in the chat and a winner will be pulled from that live as well and they will be announced on monday so two chances to win like i said if you've already purchased some of this and you win you will get your refund this is the other card that i made today as well for anybody like i said that may have joined a bit later Gemma, i will send you your samples back so you then have them to share and use and enjoy that's the gift bag again for anybody late joining that's the gift bag idea um so yeah hopefully you've enjoyed this i think you have the comments have been lovely so thank you so much and i've given you lots of inspiration and ideas there's been some really nice ideas shared in the chat as well so um love the idea of a balloon weight um and the pond and all the fish kind of you know sea related ones i think are great as well okay let me just take this one i'm just going to pull a winner for today i'm stopping on carol passy and it was your comment that says "Ooh, i would absolutely love to win well congratulations carol you have won i'll just show you again you've won the main die set so i'll just bring this one and this one so you've won these two here the main die set and the baby oh sorry turn the wrong one up there main die set and the bubbles which you can also use you know for birthdays celebratory with the, the you know champagne bubbles that kind of thing so congratulations you've won those and this is the same prize that someone can win at seven o'clock on the youtube so if you're chatting chat along during the preview and um like i said a winner will be pulled from that but the announce that, that will be announced on the monday <clears throat> oh thank you so much everyone Lovely makes, ladies. Yeah, thank you again, as always, to Gemma as well. It really does help support. We try and do six each. Um, before I had a DT, I was doing all 12 myself. So you can imagine it's a lot of a lot of work. So Gemma just does take the pressure off, but it means I can put more detail into the samples that I share rather than them being a little more basic, let's say. And I don't do basic, so it's nice that I'm able to do really detailed samples like these. Um... Let me just see if Carol um, is here. If you drop me a private message, Carol, we just need your address and I'll pass that on to the warehouse and they'll get that posted out to you. Thank you, Sharon. Um, yeah, just give it a minute, see if she's still there. But yeah, so thank you. Enjoy. And um, remember to share on the Mixed Up Crafters facebook group or share on facebook and tag craft stash and um yeah 
that way we get to see it all. Um, uh, whoop, whoop, well done, and I didn't get sacked. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> uh, yeah, have a lovely weekend, everyone. Dawn, time for lunch. I had a quick lunch before, so um, I'm all right now, but I'm going to go and have a drink and uh, do a little bit of work, and then that'll be me for the day. Um, what would what make a great O letter in the word love using your 3D letters you make? Would make a great O. Yes, yeah, definitely. Another whale collection. Hey, Trudy, thank you. Wow, all 12. That must have taken you imagine. <laughs> thank you, Simone. A big round of applause for Gemma. Great samples. Look forward to seeing your demos. Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, okay. Oh, there she is. Yes, thank you so much, Sam. You're welcome, Carol. Okay, brilliant. Well, on that note, I'm going to go. Again, huge thank you again. I really do appreciate it. And um, yeah, enjoy, enjoy the product when you get it. Take care, everyone, and I'll see you all again soon. Bye.